one, level 42, my independence day. So let's just break this. The hard thing about this is it's quick. So we've got really kind of two sections. The first phrase we need to play is this. No. Is this. So we're playing the G on the third fret to the octave of G, back to F, G, F, G, F. Now if you notice I land on the F here on my second finger because I need to <coughs> follow that with a C and then back to an F. Because that's fast, I don't really want to be sort of doing sloppy barring. I mean, you can get away with barring, but I, I find once I've got the right fingering, it, it, it makes it easier because we're playing this, we're playing this, this bass line for a good five minutes. So we want to feel comfortable and not be um, uncomfortable. Yeah, so you notice I play fingers four, one, four, two, and then I can, the one can go to the C and back. Shift. The next phrase plays. So that's going D, C, B, C, D, F, D, C. You'll notice this is all looks like a, a major scale. So it is a, it's a major scale we're using in G, but we've got a flat seven, so it's a mixolydian. So if I add those two sections together, I've got this. And then we repeat that, and then the next time, instead of we play so all together slowly. So one way, and it's always good to play these bass lines in other positions, but it's quite nice to play this an octave higher. I like playing it with an octave pedal. You end up with this sort of... a backing track what's nice about the backing track is I'll play along is you could play in half time over this backing track um, so obviously our full speed can it be
get caught.